Hello and welcome back to part two of the first video of how to set up your Strapi starter locally. In the first part of the video, we took a look how to set up our backend powered by Strapi. And in this video, we're going to take a look how to set up the front end powered by Next.js 13. So if you missed the first video, I'm gonna make sure to link it in the description. But without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Looking at our readme file, before setting up our front end, we need to create our Strapi API token and our form submission token and add this information in our .env file. So the first step, we need to jump back into our Strapi admin and create those tokens. So let's start our project by running yarn develop. Once your Strapi application starts, navigate to your project and log in. Once you're logged in, navigate to the settings tab and click on API tokens. We're going to create two tokens. One is to allow us to get our data and the second one is to submit our form. So let's create a new API token. I'm going to say read data and we're going to click under token duration unlimited. Now you can do more fine tune in terms of if you want articles, authors, categories, and you could decide you what permissions to give. Find, create, update. If I want, we basically want read only permission. So instead of doing it one by one by creating a custom token, we're just gonna say read only, and this will automatically add those permissions to all of our fields, which basically allows to read all the data that we want to get when we're making requests to our Strapi backend. I'm gonna go ahead, click save, and it's going to create our API token. Inside our project, let's navigate to our front end folder. You will see this ENV example file. So let's copy it and create a new file inside the root of our front end project called .env. And let's paste our example code here. Now let's replace our next public Strapi API token with the token that we just created. So I'm going to copy, click save, and inside my .env file in the front end project, I'm going to add that token. Next, let's create our form submission token. Back in our API tokens again, let's click create a new API token and I'm going to call it form. And we're going to give token type custom. The duration is going to be unlimited. And now we're going to scroll down to lead form submission. And we want people to be able to just create the form. Click save, copy the API token back in our project. Let's go ahead and replace it here. Now that we set up our tokens correctly, let's reference our readme file to see what the next step is. So now that our variables are set, we should be able to run yarn dev inside the front end folder to start a project. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna open up a new shell window. I'm gonna navigate into the front end folder and I'm gonna run yarn dev. Our project has successfully started, so let's navigate and check it out. And here you are, you could see your Next.js 13 powered project powered by our Strapi backend. And now let's do a test here. Click submit and email successfully submitted. When we navigate back to our admin panel on the content manager, lead form submissions. And here's the latest one that I just submitted recently, paul at email.com. Great, now we have our Strapi starter project, both the front end and the back end running locally. Before I go, I just wanna show you how you can start both projects at the same time. We're using a package concurrently that allows us to create an additional script that will run both the startup for our front end and back end. So you can start both apps by running yarn dev in the root folder of your project. So if I stop my server for my front end, I stop my server for my back end, and when I navigate into the root of the folder, here you see we have both our front end and back end. So I'm in the root folder of my project, and now when I run yarn dev, this will initialize both projects and start them up together using concurrently. So you could use one command to start both projects. So now that you could see our Strapi project is running and you could see that our front end project still running. So now you have both of the projects locally running on your computer. So what if you wanna deploy this project? So in the next video, I'm going to show you how easily you're able to deploy your backend to Strapi Cloud. And then in the following video, we'll take a look how to deploy your front end to Vercel. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you have any questions, you could always stop by 
On Strappy Discord, Monday through Friday, we hold our open office hours from 12.30 p.m. CST time until 1.30 p.m. CST time. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.